Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome back to Let's Play EVE Online. As you can see here, I'm in my pod, and well, that's just because well, I, when I was doing the, doing missions, uh, I ended up getting a, a couple of uh, repeat ones, for instance, after the 7, and I decided, you know what, I showed you one re outcome of after the 7 of the final one, so I figured I might as well show you the second one as well. And on top of that, I might as well use my Punisher. Why? Because, well, in the time it took me to, you know, run the missions, uh... You know, I actually, you know, I had enough isk to buy the uh, the pulse laser as well as the small capacitor control circuit blueprint as well. And I also had everything I needed to make those things, so I put them in the oven there in Tashmarkan for three units of them. So, and that's where my Punisher is as well. So I'm going to go get that thing and I'm going to use it for this mission. So let's, uh, let's uh, I'll uh, head over there off screen and I'll meet you, you know, in the station. Alright, we're here, and so is my Punisher. Haha, <laughs> let's get in it. Let's assemble it, and let's sit in it. Huzzah! There we go. Awesome. Alright, now that we've got these things as well, let's deliver them, and let's make them the very first thing I put on this ship. How much is do I have? No, I still can't afford the next one. Alright, so let's, uh, get that open. Let's uh, put this in there. Alright, let's fit these things. Yep. Yep. Look at that recharge rate. <laughs> Alright, that thing's fitted, so let's head back to Bajeba. Actually, yeah, let's just go, on off, go home off screen. Take this thing out for, for its first spin on screen. This thing does a lot of damage. Alright. I like the little uh, Marian symbol they put on all the ships there. And this will be the fastest ship that I own. Or it is, anyways. <laughs> Yeah, stock speed 412 meters a second. With the afterburner, I believe it'll push it over a thousand meters a second. So it'll need it, need it because it is a short-range ship. But uh, yeah, I was thinking about buying uh, one of the uh, scorch crystals, but I was like, nah, save those until I actually have both. I mean, all three uh, turrets. And in case you're wondering, I did go get the other turret off screen, so it's sitting in Baijeba doing nothing right now. Not for long, though. I did a quick fit of what I'll be able to fit on this thing right now. It'll do just about 100 damage per second, I think around 98 damage per second, and it'll be able to run a perma tank. So, yeah, basically just have every module running at the same time. <laughs> Permanently. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. And if I really wanted to do some damage, I could just, you know, just throw on the uh, armor repairer and then just throw on three heat sinks because this thing's got a tank of its own because of the, uh, the skill bonus as it gets. But uh, nah. Yeah. So this thing, <coughs> right now for my skills. As that, as uh, well, these are basically the maximum base, da uh, the maximum, I guess, base resistances of this ship, it's because I do have a Mar frigate level five. So yeah, and this thing adds five percent to the uh, resist armor resistances every level. So all right, all right, let's uh, get this thing fitted out. I got a uh, inquisitor. I want to strip this. Alright, uh, I suppose I didn't need to do that, all I need is that, and there, where's the afterburner? Uh, 
that's the exp that's the fast one, right? Yeah. All right. Let's put that on. Uh, where's the camera charger? Put that on. Yeah. Put these on. the armor repair. Put that one on. And I believe you go up against a guy in a destroyer, so I think it was kinetic and thermal, so let's uh, put that, put that, and the heat sink. That should be it, right? Ah, I almost forgot the salvager. And there we go. This thing is fitted. <laughs> Yeah, the resistance is there, and that's just one of the really, really, really weak ones. Really like, yeah, 24%, yeah. Alright, now we definitely need crystals. Let's, uh, just get this going here. Let's put three of them in there. Awesome. Let's take a look at the damage mul multiplier of, uh, well, the attack one, mul pulse lasers. So, 2.26 two six seconds, there's a damage modifier, 5.767. Optimal is 60, uh, I'll probably have to go with that. So I'll probably orbit around 5,000 meters or so. Um, so 2.26 and 5.77. 2.26 and 7.475. <laughs> yeah, this thing can do a lot of damage. All right, so let's... Uh, I haven't accepted the machine yet, so let's accept it. And let's go take care of this little piece of business here. I will be uploading this, I guess, alongside the uh, previous outcome to this mission, so um, if you're wondering what, you know, the mission's all about, well, you're probably watching this in the future, so you probably already read it, but you know, go back to the, uh, the uh, first attempt. Warp drive active. He... See, this one, since I don't have to worry about charges, I'm actually going... Oh, yeah, I can't link them all up, darn it, but, uh... Eh, I can link up two of them, yeah. But yeah, basically, I can run every single one of these modules at the same time. Permanently, until I run into cap warfare, obviously. All right. Warp drive active. I won't bother turning this on until I need to, if I need to. Laser. No, I've just got that at level 4, so it can go even higher. <laughs> oh, there's Lochad. Yeah, there's the bribe that we took last time, but let's go after him this time. Let's change this to, when I say 5,000 meters? Alright. Glad you got my message. Implanting trigger, triggered responses into the mind of our former captives is the easiest part. The hard part is in yeah. Again, if you want to, uh, I'll read this anyway, just for the sake of the story. Uh, is he part the hard part is figuring what to do with nosy capsuleers that interfere with our operation? Listen, we're both capsuleers, so there's really no point in dueling out here in the middle of space, is there? Here's my offer. If you head over to those asteroids, you'll find a cargo container with some valuable odds and ends inside. You don't have to tell anyone where you got them. Well, buddy, not this time. Yeah, 1,042 meters a second. Bring it. the optimal of this thing. You know, and it was 37, oh yeah, that's what it was. That wasn't very smart. Or 2,500 there. Alright, there we go. Um, let's see, a fall off. 2,500, yeah. Let's see how, was, did I pick a good spot? Looks like I did. Alright, let's fire. 
I hope you were smarter than that. Let's waste some time and resources in. Here we go, boys. <laughs> Look at that. Just... Oh, okay, that's the... Uh, that's from these, this group here, but... Uh, what's going on here? Why is it only showing up as the... Uh, oh, well, this thing, he can actually jam you, I think, but... Boom! Perfect strike. <laughs> 222.6 damage. Ow! <laughs> Anyways, let's, uh, you know what? You got time? Yeah, I'll just salvage his stuff on screen. <laughs> oh, if you think that's a huge hit, wait until you see the artillery cannon. <laughs> but for now, this ship will do until we get into that kind of stuff. It'll probably hold me over until I'm uh, ready to take on level 2s. But yeah, remember the uh, critical hit, the wrecking damage is actually... I'll show you here. It's uh, the damage modifier times the... I guess the... Uh, the sum of this, so times 12, and then times 3, and the times 3 is the critical hit. Alright, there we go. Awesome. <laughs> that was cool. Now I just need to get the other two, so I can really link them up. is so awesome. <laughs> mm. I mean, used to it, like, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but it used to only have the resistance bonus on it. It didn't have the damage bonus. The damage bonus used to be uh, a capacitor bonus, so, you know, you don't you use half the uh, cap that the lasers do. But I like the damage bonus much better. screen that, post it in the video description. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Alright, let's turn this in. Complete. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, so what's the next mission? Or is it going to have to be another uh, off-screen bit? Ooh, this is a new and unauthorized military presence. What's it all about? I guess you'll have to find out next time. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one. <laughs>